Hey everyone, welcome back to Language Art Workshop Communication Arts Podcast, Lost Cap, bringing ideas to life. This is Sue Sudarak speaking from Berlin, Germany. With me here today is Vincent Ong. Hi. Hi, Vincent. <laughs> welcome to the show and welcome back. <laughs> I made a trip here to talk to Vincent and to see how he adapting to the new environment in this. University here. Let Vincent share with us a little bit about how has he been doing here in terms of language learning. Okay, I would say the one thing that has changed the most for mm. me compared to like when I was in Malaysia was um, I had to plan a lot more here. Everything is like okay, you have to follow a schedule. You have to set an appointment. What time is this? What time is that? You know, Germans, typical Germans, <laughs> they they plan everything. That's that's And how it is. And you have to be on time. Ah yes, Correct, yes, right. Yes. So the the punctuality of uh, you know the German people combined with the schedule that I have in with the courses and maybe rehearsals, recordings or whatever it is, it really made me into a more I guess organized mm -hmm. person in a way. Apparently, I'm more towards sticking to plans now <laughs> <laughs> because the environment has forced me into, to <laughs> into become becoming one. like that. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Which it's not. It's not a necessarily a good or bad thing. It's just different cultures. But uh, I think that's one of the biggest thing I've learned uh, while adapting. Let's talk about your language learning before you came to Berlin. I did until B1 in Malaysia, and then after I came here, I still had to do one more level, which is B2, and uh, we finished it over the course of the first semester. Now we are now I'm in the second semester, so it's done. <laughs> yeah. But of course, you know, like when I say done, I don't mean like done with learning because <laughs> you can go all like many language courses as you want, but then. You you go in the train. You listen to people. You don't understand a single word. Exactly. Or you do. You go in a bar or something. When the Germans, when they talk, like to each other, they may use a lot of slangs and they may use, they may shorten the words. Like it's completely different than what you learn in the book. Yeah, yeah. we will get to that about language learning a little bit because at language art workshop we teach language, English, and I would like. The students and Malaysian students, I would say in general, to, to learn a language in a way, to enjoy learning the language and way? to be able to use it in a practical way, not just to learn a language, Very just to pass school I exam. In, so in Malaysia, we learn three languages at the same time, and now you additional have have one more here. Right? Ready? When it comes to learning anything. Um, The, your reason of learning. I think motivation is the most important thing when you're starting to learn something like German, even though it was not easy, was because it's a simple reason because I kind of liked how it sounds, <laughs> how okay. it sounds. Okay. And, and you know, <laughs> and, and and you seem so fluent with the locals here. Uh, He seemed fluent, in my mm, opinion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, still have some ways to go because uh, how to say, you know. Talk fluently without thinking about like the grammatics English. and the the grammar and switch? stuff. Do you switch? Do you think in English before less, you speak? I would say less now, but wow. sometimes still like I would like, oh, what's that word? What's that word for this and that? You know, and sometimes I still have to think about the grammar. The mm -hmm. it has like 16 forms of the. Okay, <laughs> we, we, we don't need to get to we that. We don't need to get into that. For those that, of okay, you who but, want yeah. to learn German and aim to come to Germany to study, you better start learning right now. It's gonna be yeah. a long process. Yep, yep. Right. Okay. But okay, getting back to the point, right about the learning. I think uh, like the language, yes. <laughs> love the language. I think that's the main, the first step. Mm -hmm. And then after that, I think is to not just learn grammar and and how the you know the language works, but more importantly, is to learn the culture, learn the yes. culture. Yes, language learning is cultural. I would say. So yeah. you turned everything in German. Your what I did when I moved here is I changed my language on the phone to German. So it kind of forces me to. 
look at German every day. So it's not that hard to, to adapt to it because you kind of can guess by context. I think a lot of learning languages, uh, it's about context. And that is the, I think that's the best way to learn languages is to just, you know, just surround yourself with the language and slowly absorb it. You don't need to understand perfectly, hmm. but the fact that you are there and you're willing to absorb to acquire all this okay that's the way I, so I say. that would be vincent's learning strategy in terms of language learning sum it up okay like if you are want to come to germany to study um be prepared to be very organized yes Oof, to be, your organization yeah. skills has to be really good how school life is like here mm -hmm. when you get to this level self-directed learning is a must. How your self-directed learning skills has helped you to adapt so well here? The word directed, you need direction, right? Mm -hmm. So where does that direction come from? This is not just something that you can find by yourself only, but also the environment will affect you. If you keep your eyes open and you come and really be open to new experiences then the inspiration will come automatically the school is called hans eisler by the way hans eisler uh there is a program that they have for new students called eisler buddy wow. where where it's like they will find a student that's already studying here that are willing to help out new students so that's how i actually got to know my first friend through this you know this program the way this school is located you know there's the ground floor where people always come in it's a place where you can't hide you know it's like a the student people, lounge yeah, yeah yeah i mean it's just a lobby you mm -hmm. know and and that's where most of the socializing happens mm -hmm. that's where you meet new people you meet people not not just from the same department from here but you meet other People, like you meet singers, you meet conductors, uh, uh, accompanists, mm. and then even like other instruments as well in the other building. <laughs> in order to promote yourself, especially if you are self-employed, well, self-employed, if you are an, an independent musician, you have to use social media mm. and extensively in order okay. to promote yourself, to put yourself out there. He had been mentioning about mm. employment and stuff and I heard that you have been just employed and teaching piano to German students. Tell us more about that. This is something Ooh. amazing actually. Yeah. Being yeah. here for only six months and got a chance to teach well, the locals. Again, I was really, really lucky to get that because uh, actually the way I found the job was from a friend of a friend mm -hmm. where I think he's currently doing his PhD and he's quite busy. He uh, needs to find a replacement oh, to right. teach his students. And mm -hmm. that's how I actually got to know about the job. Then I went and uh, did the interview with the school director. And okay. um, yeah, we met. You have to rewrite your resume, your CV. Oh, I mean, my resume I updated from time to time. So okay. it, it, wasn't, good, right? it wasn't super uh, hard to do that. Mm -hmm. And also, uh, we had a course in our school here mm. that, that uh, in the first semester called Music Management, which oh, is wow. all about like dealing with how to your per professional profile and your writing CVs and like how to do okay. all this. And I have been... Uh, constantly updating it. So when I needed it, I was like, okay, just use this. CSI 5, CSI 6, SPM student, college student, listen up. You cannot get away from learning all this, writing your personal statement, your CV, and job interview. And I would like to add that even if you use chat gpt you must still know what's the content exactly and you check. have to you have to explain <laughs> yeah. yourself when the time comes for this uh, interview part whether you, know? you are who you say you are or is that just a bunch of fancy buzzwords that you mm. use to make it look nice yes <laughs> the authenticity has to be there so this is one thing that we want to share with you so teaching children is very psychological actually it's not just teaching children adults as well so from what we have learned so far at Language Arts Workshop is all about personalized learning and the whole child approach. 
and as a mom and as a teacher to him i mean the whole time here i would feel that my parenting style and my teaching style actually prepare kids for the future think of the future you not just learning just to pass exam month by month term by term i try so hard to emphasize on this concept and as you can see here both of my sons jason who is helping me teaching at in penang right now and vincent perhaps our future performance arts director we are going to continue to do what we've been doing because i think that's the right direction we are heading so i think this is what malaysia needs right and now and i do think that uh, a lot of the future education has to focus on cross disciplinary cross disciplinary yeah. we should integrate all this because every individual student will have multiple talents my message for you all today would be discover kids uh, strengths and their passion toward learning in any field and we support them from there vincent it has been a great interview all the best in yeah. all your endeavors in the future yeah high Thank five you. and <laughs> bye, bye.